A really close call for a 17-year-old girl at her junior prom last Friday on Long Island. She ate a cookie, not realizing it had nuts in it, something she's severely allergic to. Ariana Varghese was in trouble, big, big trouble. time. Yeah, all she needed was a simple medical device like an EpiPen. But she says the adults in charge wanted to know only what drugs she was taking. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager spoke with her. My throat felt like it was closing up. Like I could feel, like I feel my, my senses were very heightened. Ariana Varghese describing a terrifying night shortly after her junior prom began last Friday here at Half Hollow Hills High School West in Dix Hills. Ariana, who's had a peanut and tree nut allergy her whole life, had eaten a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie here at the school event and moments later began throwing up and feeling like she was going into anaphylactic shock. But she tells us her school principal, assistant principal, and school nurse didn't seem to believe her. And she was like, what drugs are you on? Why are you throwing up? There was no EpiPen immediately administered, no immediate call to 911. Ariana herself calling her father, who's a physician's assistant, and he raced to the school. I said, this is an anaphylactic shock. This is not substance abuse. This is anaphylaxis full on. I said, was the first Epi given? She said, no, so I was getting my Epi. She takes it from my hand and then injects it into Ari. What was going on? in the mind of the nurse, of the adults who are around her, when she's saying, I can't breathe. The school released a statement today saying, quote, the nurse acted immediately, began evaluating the student's vitals, and asked questions to assess what care was needed. But the Varghese family believes the school officials were far more preoccupied with doubt about what Ariana might not be telling them instead of what she was. They were going through her bags searching for drugs. School officials adding, from the time the nurse was called and began treating the child to the time first responders arrived, approximately 15 minutes had passed. We are thankful our student has recovered and returned to school. Meanwhile, Ariana's father believes it was more like 40 minutes total time before she was treated. And it would take two EpiPens and four hours of IV fluids at Huntington Hospital before she felt better. I want people to take accountability for what they didn't do. What they didn't do about a food allergy well documented with the district, one that could have cost a 17-year-old her life.